Hello and welcome to the Rambling Hour. Today I'm Akinar. And I'm Cyrus. Well, actually it's just Toxin Yandalf again, but hey. <laughs> so today we are playing Abduction, which is a spiritual successor made, uh, of uh, the Mist series. Made apparently by a lot of the same people who worked on the original games. Yeah, that's what I heard. Okay, do I need to Google this again? <laughs> uh, I guess. So, oh, sorry, I'll give you your phone. Uh, okay, so let's just call it navigation. Don't you want to wanna give yourself an actual name that would fit? Nah, rambling is fine. Free roam or point and click. How boring a name. Let's do point and click because old school. Okay, because we're old fashioned. <laughs> yes. So, Myst is probably the only adventure game series that I have played, let's say, religiously. And I've always really I liked the series. I think that's... The, the, the sign things are where you go. Ah, okay. So it actually is a bit more like a VR game. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to change that or not? Oh, yeah, can, can you change it? I that? can control it with arrow keys as well. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Well, it sh unless you keep doing that, it shouldn't be too uh, nausea-inducing. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, what's going to happen now? Oh, we actually haven't clarified how we're going to play this one yet. Yeah, so we're actually thinking of maybe doing... Maybe we're gonna. We're gonna? You're screwed. You're gonna have to play through this. So I will have to play this game to completion. And you were planning on playing something else as well to completion, right? Yes, but that's a surprise for next week. Yeah, so we're gonna do one week your game and one week my game. Of course. Okay. So let's see, who developed Abduction? Probably the Miller brothers were at least part of it, right? Well, I'm gonna... it's a... By Cyan Worlds. Oh, it was Cyan still. Uh, started by the uh, brothers, the Miller brothers. Yeah. Well, the the Miller brothers were the the characters whose name we just mentioned at the start. Yeah, Sirs and Aknar. Yes. Yeah. But they also, you know, started the whole mist thing. Yeah. But so yeah, it's still Cyan Worlds, so it's just the same team more or less. Why are you looking at the... Because the, the, the sign pages? words isn't specifying if they're still working there. Ah. Well, Robin Miller, Miller left... Oh, really? Cyan Inc. Yes. Rand Miller is still there, it seems. Oh, okay. I have to say for a So one of the two left, so one of the two might have been like, okay, it's not worth it anymore. No. But, but they really did start with the idea of basically making uh, visual novels almost. Yeah, pretty much before the genre was a thing. Does Although this thing have an inventory? No. So it's following the old mistradition it seems. So we're supposed to have like an aha thing like two, two or three hours in. No, I guess. I do find it funny that the uh, environment looks very just a regular place in the North American wilderness. Well, maybe it's because we are just started and we still have to fall in the proverbial book. Well, I don't know if it still uses the whole book thing. Well, I mean. I'm expecting to travel to another world. Because no. this is too real. At least compared to the screenshots I, I saw of it when I, I quickly bought it. <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh. Whether it was in the deep Do, like is that a comet? Right town, like is that a magical Andy. comet? We were <laughs> I don't know. Go find it. <laughs> Have you been paying any attention to what the guy's saying? Because we, we might need to run a little bit. I've paid a little bit of attention to it. Some storm here. Yeah. Is this guy just remembering stuff? 
Yeah, it seems so. I wonder if the characters that are made are just like these grey box characters, just so they can have a shadow? Probably. Seeing as you can have no shadow at all as well. Yeah, I, I guess it's, you're just a floating camera and they faked a shadow. Mm -hmm. Funny thing, the options screen actually has options for a male, a female, or no shadow at all. But it showed it at the at start all. of the game as well. Oh right, yeah it did. Where you just called yourself rambling. Hello, we're rambling. <laughs> we're rambling McGee. Yes. This is like being called Guybrush Creepwood. I guess. <laughs> Hey, my name is Guy. Dot brush. Tree boot. Yeah. Hey, more magical comet. What is it doing? Also, the lightning is a bit unnatural, but I think that's intentional. Maybe, or it might just be a limitation of the I budget would, and engine. Uh, I would say that uh, the trees and the rocks are kind of st uh, stylized. Yeah. I do like how the trees are moving in the wind. Yeah. Well, I know the trick, but um, th they're well done. Mm -hmm. In that sense. I suppose. But yeah, uh, if you really want realism, then perhaps it hasn't aged as well as I remember it, but Riven was really good actually, so the second Mist game. Oh. Oh, 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 I think we're at the end of the line and we have to... Do something. Do something, or we get transported. You know, the proverbial book. I guess. That looks like a spaceship. Or an that acorn. looks like an acorn. Because the top was really weirdly shaped for an yep. acorn. Oh, is that why it's called abduction? We were willingly abducted? I actually don't know what abduction means. Is it a word that actually exists? Uh, maybe? Oh, that was a frame drop. Yeah. A bit too many particles, you guys. <laughs> But particles are the most expensive thing in a game usually. Although these look like they are alpha tested, which makes them cheaper again. Yeah, but still. Oh. oh. Good effect. That was neat, yeah. Huh. I have the feeling that the the place is very similar though, like we're just in a different time or something. Well, abduction is an actual word. And what's it mean? An act or instance of drawing or laying something as a covering over. Which is kind of what happened huh. just now. I guess. But yeah, personally I think that uh, the Are second you... Mist game was the most quote-unquote realistic looking because back then Riven? they... Yeah. Yeah, that's also that one looked kind of more tribalish, right? That looked very tribalish. It was uh it was really the aim of the environment was to have a more tribal African inspired uh, look and feel. I also feel like having always uh, made FMV people in it has been to their advantage because they were trying to sell themselves and it's hyper realistic even though if to be honest, if you look back at the first Miss game now, it's like uh, look at all these primitives they're using, but you couldn't render much better at the yeah. time anyway. And that's kind of the thing, like the fifth Mist game was completely done with 3D art, including mm -hmm. the the human characters, and Which it just... Which was the fifth one? Did it have a name? End of Ages. Okay. It was uh, well, almost... The, the yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna go there. What's on the nameplate? Welcome to... To Hanrati. Uh, ah, Roth. I think these are traveling buttons. Hello. Bonjour. Ciao. Multiple languages. Hello. Shora. Ni hao. I don't know all of these. To Hunrat. My name is Yosef. I am the mayor here. Hello, Yosef. You are most probably a bit confused and disoriented. But let me reassure you, everything will be fine. That's I good. I guess. <laughs> Not the first. Who went before us? Oh, all the other players. Okay. Wait, are we intended to stay here? I guess. Well, tough luck, guy. There was a funny storm, a meteorite transported you, and you're fucked. Nah, oh, Those no. are some good cacti on the floor in front of you. Decent oh. coloring. Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess if you spend a lot of time looking at cacti, you pick up on things like that. 
Well, it took me two months to make a whole set of them. Yeah. Once. <laughs> yeah. I should make some new ones, see if I've improved. Yeah, you should. But yeah, so to get back to Mist 5, End of Ages, that was a little bit of a... Massive disappointment? Yeah. Wasn't it, it the last one that they made? It was, it was. It's oh, was, oh, wasn't it Uru? Oh, no, 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 no. Uru was the weirdly MMO one, right? Yeah, which was... Well, first they tried to make it, make it an MMO, then that didn't pan out, so they made single-player games out of it. He told you to go to the them. house with the white picket fence. Yeah, yeah, I know, but can always look around a bit. But what if we accidentally end up somewhere where we're not supposed to go and we get uh, stuck there? That's what happened to me in Wist 1. Well, I got stuck in the sound wor world. Because I was like, I'm not going to let the sound puzzle beat me for two hours. And then I got in there and I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I got to the hardest world first. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> it's all doable. You can't literally get stuck in the game. Well, I do think that the most cryptic puzzle in Mist 1 was the one with the, the, the telescope on top and then you had to like remember the angle of the top telescope and put it into the wind thing on the bottom when I'm wind thing compass yeah I don't know why I'm calling it a wind thing it must just be me mm -hmm. <laughs> either way I, I couldn't associate the thing all the way on the top with the thing all the way on the bottom because the way you turned on the lights for all the way of, um, on the bottom had nothing to do with the telescope. Maybe if that what? had something to do with the telescope, it would have been fine. Oh, what's on the floor? Yeah, some sort of crayon drawing. Three colors. Yeah. Hmm. But, yeah. You don't remember the puzzle I mentioned? Yeah, I vaguely remember it. I, I actually beat Mist 1 when I was like eight years old or something, which I still consider my biggest gaming achievement, especially as a kid who, you know, at that point spoke only a few licks of English. <laughs> but you didn't need to know a lot of English. Nah, but still. <laughs> that one guy was at safe and uh, now oh, it's boy. not safe here. Don't panic! You just told us that it's not safe. <laughs> I like some of the effects they did on the, the videos. Yeah, it's it's a very Warning. different way of doing... Warning, can we read yeah. that better? Do not approach anything. This diagram, is, unless it has been disabled. So sort of Look a behind us for a second. Okay, no, it doesn't look like it. Mm. <laughs> Excuse me, it worried me for a second. <laughs> oh, you. No, but... Um, to get back to Mist 5, it, it just... The puzzles weren't great to begin with, and they... What was their biggest problem? I think the problem is that they basically just relied on one type of puzzle, which was... Carving symbols on a oh, plate right. it was that one. to uh, make something happen, but other than that, there wasn't really any hopscotch time. Yes, to to do any kind of puzzles with with the game. Uh, it's also the first time that they actually really achieved what they wanted to do, which was make a fully explorable, uh, hyper realistic 3D Can you do renderings of with worlds. The, the mailbox. Uh, oh yeah, I can. Uh, but uh, yeah, it just didn't. It it just didn't. Re it came at too big a cost actually to make a full uh, 3D world. And they tried it before that with Uru, mm -hmm. but yeah, that ran on like I believe 2005 era tech. Uh, this is written by the guy the chick warned you about. Hmm. So some sort of fight happened and nobody returned and you know for low poly flowers that's pretty okay yeah the, the flower heads themselves could have been better but that's about it also i'm not sure if she warned us about cw she just said he might be here he might be not but that didn't seem uh, could you go back to the doors is there like uh, a mat on uh, on the 
the porch, just ah. in case. <laughs> the door didn't open, we might be looking for a key. No. <laughs> Okay, the transitions are a bit slow, though. Well, maybe maybe you can still change it. Maybe, maybe go for uh, the real time thingy. Yeah. yeah. Just don't go crazy on how quickly you go. Well, there's clearly no doormat. Yeah, there's no doormat. I'm gonna take a look if I can. Oh, escape. Settings. Settings. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No, it seems that. Hey, controls. Controls. Ah. Maybe. Cursor mode? No. Navigation type. Where? Ah, right. Free roam. Resume game. Let's take a look. It's still a bit slow, but... Yeah, but at least, you know, they don't have the continuous slow first look in a direction and then... Uh -huh. Just don't whip the camera too quickly around and then I won't puke on you. <laughs> ah. Oh, I think this will matter later. Could you pull that thing? Oh, okay, you need to motion control. Yeah, it probably changes the... Yeah, it, yeah, it changes the tracks. Yeah. I guess we'll have to follow the tracks. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of them, but we'll take a look. Let's see where this leads. So, what has been going on in the news this week? Well, news-wise, it's a bit little. Again? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> uh, one of the more notable things is uh, CD Projekt's uh, next miniature release, Thronebreaker, is not coming to Steam. Yeah, so... What's that name? Hmm? Gentleman? Benjamin. Benjamin. Okay. Benjamin Sims. Kenny Cardwell, I think? Yeah, I don't know if these names will matter, but I find it weird that these two don't have dates on them and the other one is carved. Yeah. Hmm. Can, hey, can you actually interact with them? Yeah, well, I was thinking the same now, but seems not. Okay. Yeah, so CD Projekt is deciding to not release their next smaller game on Steam, which uh, seems like quite a political move, in my opinion, considering that CD Projekt has been backing good old games quite a bit. Well, it and is a subsidiary normally to CD Projekt. Yeah, and so they have uh, every reason to support it more. Yeah, and also with how nowadays people seem to grow more and more discontent with Steam service. Uh, Steam has, I don't know, it's weird. Like you sort of expect it to work like a boutique, as in that it selects at least a little bit, but it doesn't at all. Just anything goes. All the trash goes on there, and I don't even know how 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 this trash is allowed on there <laughs> yeah well there's zero quality control yeah there, there's no level of entry like uh, what, what was it 100 bucks and you can put something on there well you can try to put something on there but it's not exactly difficult to uh, get you? the amount of green light votes nope okay, i can't that's, that's like, oh, whatever that is it's not exactly difficult to get the amount of votes on Steam green what is light. That light for? Uh, it seems like a sort of a laser. We'll go there. It's not difficult to get the amount of votes on Steam green light that Steam requires you but to get. But green light isn't a thing anymore, normally. Yeah, but honestly, they they killed off green light. They said we're starting up a new pro uh, program, and it's basically green light again. So everybody just keeps calling it green light. As far no, as it's not aware. green light again. There's no voting at all. It's just money, hun. Oh really? They it's just cash. They removed all the. V oh wow. There, there is hardly any barrier to entry anymore. That, that's why, why even more trash can get on there. Yeah, then they actually really should have increased uh, entry and price. And that's one of the the main problems with Steam nowadays. Well, if you increase an entry price, like people who can barely develop a game without going uh, going hungry can't release it anymore. Yes, but honestly. Back when the discussion was being uh, pulled around on how they would change the pro uh, the, the the program, uh, they were saying that they were thinking of anything between one hundred to five thousand dollars, right? Mm -hmm. With one hundred also being the original Steam green light uh, fee, mm -hmm. and I definitely think o over two thousand dollars would have been too much. Okay. For, uh, that would have cut out. Way too many really small-time developers that just wanted to put something online. 
A door that opens. Including potentially me at some point, because I still consider uh, actually publishing something that I make if I ever manage to finish it. Um, but uh, I think $500, for example, would have been fine. It would be a little too much to just, you know, spend on something that you put together in like a couple of days and mm -hmm. just call it a day, which is what we see a lot happening now and see a lot of complaining about. Mm -hmm. But it wouldn't be Don't so rotate so fast. Yeah, it wouldn't be so high that it would uh, lock out a significant portion of developers, mm -hmm. well, really small scale developers. But they just didn't go for that. They went for the flat hundred again, which yeah, anyone can uh, just save up a hundred bucks if they are a bit uh, crafty. There's also these weird things where it's like uh, achievement spamming and shit like that. Yeah, the I don't get it. What's the point? I guess the whole thing about it is that the achievements feed back into the Steam card. Uh, they system. don't. You don't get achievements and cards at the same time. No, but I think that the more achievements you have, the faster your rate of getting like Steam card booster packs increases. You think? I think it had something to do with that. I'm not entirely sure. This was where we came from, I think. Yeah, this was the start. Yeah. So uh, there's nothing beyond that one door that we opened. Oh. um... <laughs> Okay, no, the, the, no, that uh, just moved up into that bend. But we'll just look around. Okay. So yeah. What's that? Then, of course, there's also the talk about uh, the Rockstar Crunch, which everybody seems to be in a tiff about. And <sighs> then people seem to clarify that that was actually a misrepresentation of the original quotes, but... Yeah, the well, when, when I read the article, the first article I noticed uh, on that was on Game Industry Biz. And uh, that was like, the title said 100 hours, but when I was reading the article, it was like 60 at most. And why did they put I don't know. 100 hours it, it, was, it was kind of mind-bogglingly uh, flipped to me. Can you do anything? It, it's indicating that you can click on it. No, it's not. The circle isn't full. Oh, okay. Oh. But it, considering the weird... Did you click at all? Okay. Thanks. Considering the weird little uh, mm -hmm. effect on it, you can probably do something with it later. I'm starting to think we need to go to the funny light. Maybe. It's but either way, here. the first article I read on it felt kind of like it was representing its own content for some reason. Yeah. So that was already interesting, <laughs> and uh, I'm not really in a position to judge it. Yeah, I still think that crunch is a bit of a necessary evil in some cases. Mm, that's kind of the problem with that statement right away. Yeah, but still. Uh, Maybe when you're making a game with five guys, but not when you're making it with a hundred people. Well, it that's also is a little bit of Also, a we're talking... <laughs> Honestly, when you're at the level of Rockstar, which is AAA with tons of money, why? Yeah, you would think that it would be easier to hire I'd be a even of more extra. pissed if I heard this coming from like uh, Blizzard or Activision. Yeah. Then I'd be like, the fuck are you doing, guys? Okay, I'll shut up for that, I guess. Yeah, let's see. Do -do -do. This is the tree. It has been here in Hunrock for as long as anyone can remember. <sighs> it's held. Cell? So you're saying that the barrier is intentional? No, I suppose. Well, about you saying that you would be even more pissed off if it were EA or Blizzard. I don't really know if Rockstar really 
deserves the distinction there considering that at this point they made the most expensive and one of the most lucrative games ever. Yeah, which like all GTA of them are 5. swimming in money. So why would you... But part of the problem there is, is as well, the reason why I think they're doing it, any amount of crunch, mm. is release and hype cycles. Yeah. Like, uh, if you start marketing for a game, you basically put a deadline on the hype you can create on it. Like, you're not going to permanently, indefinitely be able to keep people's attention. No, you need to be pretty special for that. Like, for example, Early Access has, like, a unspoken deadline of a year. If you're a year into Early Access, then people are like, mm, it will never release. That, or that's, they, the, they that, that's the that's the how should I say uh, say this? Uh, that's the myth. Yeah, and it's it's also just kind of visible. Like mm -hmm. I remember it when Torment Ties of the Numenera was mm -hmm. announced. Everybody was a buzz over it, but by the time it actually got released, uh, just I think we need to remember that barely anyone noticed. Uh, that could be. No, uh, you want to write that down? Uh, yeah, sure. Just so. in case. I, d I don't know. That, that looks suspicious. <laughs> so we have a diamond nine. Mm -hmm. Diamond nine, a heart seven, uh, a spade tree, and oh, a wow, diamond that's a ace. Very badly drawn spades. And, and a clover a ace. Oh, yeah, clover. It's, it's clover. Uh, and it looks upside down for the side we were watching, but that might matter only later. Yeah. There. Um, Just in but, case. But yeah, but by the time that uh, Torment actually was released, almost nobody Can seemed to really it? talk about it. No, only when this circle is full. So there, when there's a second circle drawn in the circle, then you can I click it. I haven't noticed it. Ooh, ooh. Aww. No. There seems to be junk on the floor. Yeah, boxes and right some pots. Right behind you as well. Slowly rotate. Yeah. Don't bring me to puke town, please. <laughs> You're really sensitive to it. How the uh, hell? How the hell do you play games like Doom? Um, I don't know. The the it, one I'm not playing right now. So any movement yeah. you make is unexpected to me. Actually, what is the field of view on it right now? Does it have a field of view slider? I don't know if it has a field of view slider. Because I am better with a 110. I suppose that's in graphics. Uh, texture, Feel, Feel of you. Could you put it on 110? I know that's my safe spot. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. It's in game. So now it's going to be a little wider. and oh, now, oh. now it's a bit too wide. 100 then. Okay. 90 tends to be like a bit iffy. I know I needed to up it for uh, the witness and... Um, Thingy, what's it called? Talus principle. Oh. Those yeah. two are also puzzle games, and I know puzzle games tend to like uh, allow you to shift it. Mhm. Mm oh. Especially when you notice you're getting sick, that helps a lot. Okay, so there is stuff here, but I can't seem to interact with it. Okay. A lot of collapsed uh, rock Damn. formations here. It seems. It's starting to feel like we'll have to interact with them somehow. Yeah. A <laughs> snail. That's kind of cute. But yeah, um, also... I feel very uncomfortable of calling uh, crunch unnecessary evil, but I feel also very uncomfortable fully denouncing it, considering marketing yeah. cycles and stuff. Yeah, so now you see this I can click, right? Yeah. Also, there's one thing that I will have to say about Red Dead Redemption and needing so much crunch. <laughs> it's kind of not difficult that they need it, and also kind of easy to call it superfluous when you realize that they actually had programmers make sure that horses' testicles will shrink or grow depending on the temperature of the environment. But yeah, the most extreme crunch was reported from writers. Which is a bit strange in my opinion, but yeah. I suppose if you if need to keep If the story writing. is worth it, I guess, but I don't know how much of a proper story you can write if you spend 70 hours on it in a single week once. Yeah. Or maybe. twice. Well, people seem to really like the original Red Dead story, so... I haven't played it at all, but I, didn't I mention on this already that I have a really bad 
relationship with Rockstar Games. I think you did. Let, let's click the button so we don't just stand yeah. here. <laughs> Wait, didn't we just watch this? Oh, no. What's the fanfare like? Because I'm only seeing it. <laughs> Is it like the UAC thing in Doom 3? I guess. Welcome to Mars! <laughs> Demons will appear soon. <laughs> Nothing that exciting will happen in this game particularly. So you're me to say you're a communist! <laughs> well, everything's in red when you see their images. Yeah, true. <laughs> so, yeah, let's maybe leave that whole crunch thing for what it is. Yeah. I, th I think we've given a bit of insight into bo both sides of the argument, at yeah. least. So, anything else? Uh, there's been a bunch of releases. Yeah. The big shooters are out. Yeah. <laughs> Which, uh, I always thought those actually released a little closer to the holiday season. Well, this is about as close as you're gonna get and then still have... <laughs> I don't know, November is still there. Yeah, but some people already start doing their purchases for the holiday season now. Yeah, which actually got me a little bit angry. Halloween hasn't even passed yet and I already saw Santa Claus, well, Sinterklaas, which is our local version of it. No, 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 you can't really compare the two. Both do bring gifts to the children, but uh, the, the story behind it is uh, slightly different. And actually we should call it Saint Nicholas. S yeah, which is basically what Santa Claus was ripped from. Yeah. But... Um, yeah, I, I'm already seeing uh, Sinterklaas uh, stuff Saint in Nicholas. stores. Yeah, <laughs> Saint Nick. Nobody says Saint Nicholas, though. But that would be the translation. Yeah. Also, we've had a lot of shit in the past on it because of um, some of the, 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 the helper characters that go along with it, which is Black Pete. And uh, it brings up images of... Uh, Can we not talk about the whole racist caricature Well, we're just figure, gonna mention please. it. <laughs> we're gonna, like, tokenly uh, acknowledge it. That it brings up uh, images that could be mis misconstrued as blackface, but uh, it's never been used in that specific sense. But if you come from America and you have been innately steeped in the historic uh, history of that nation, I can see how you can come that to, to that conclusion. Well, and that's all I want to say on that. <laughs> I guess. But yeah, so basically I'm like, no, wait for Halloween first, goddammit. But this country isn't that much There's into that... Halloween anyway. Well, it's been increasing over the past few years. At least years, we'll have though. the nice looking cookies. Mm. That's true. And the nice looking chocolate. The speculas. I don't know how to translate that. Yeah. They're like... Special types of ginger, ginger cookies, because ginger cookies are also very spicy Gingerbread. Cookies. Yeah. Yeah. It's comparable, but not the same. I think we're finally getting to some puzzles. Like, like this feels like we're building up to Yay. something. Yay! Yeah, so why I actually do quite like the Mist games and regular adventure games not that much. In the Mist games, you're generally not dealing with people, you're just dealing with machines. So that means no dialogue puzzles. This is weird, because you're less soci more social than me. Yeah, but I feel that when games try to model social systems and like social puzzles, mm -hmm. especially in adventure games, it usually revolves to, yeah, try to guess this play on words that we are having here, or try to just guess what this character has in his mind, and you'll figure it out that way. But honey, I find isn't a terrible. monkey wrench logical? <laughs> yeah, when you know what a monkey wrench is. I'm sorry, what's a spanner? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm looking for a spanner. Is there any spanner in this game? Well, it's made by Americans. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so that's kind of why I prefer the Mist games, because you're just dealing with machines which are just, yeah, entirely built on this is how it operates. Mm -hmm. And you can generally just deduce it by watching the thing try to work and then blocking something, which is just a ton easier. I guess. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, the one puzzle that blocked me and missed wasn't very machine-like. 
Yeah, but that was sound, and you just no, 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 not the sound puzzle, the one I mentioned earlier. Oh yeah, that one I actually couldn't figure out. Yeah, that 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 one I can understand. I don't remember the sound world all that much, but I do remember that the tunnels were kind of tricky. Okay, no, so the tunnels this... were very easy. Oh really? I was like writing it down as like spoink, doink, and clink, <laughs> and yeah, then it, that, that's how I figured it, it out. It was basically some sort of Simon Says, right? Yeah, depending depending on whether you heard spoink, doink, or clunk, or uh, tink, or something, uh, you had to go north, east, south, west. Yeah, but I. And if it went ok, uh, ok it was wrong. <laughs> ah, okay. Because I don't remember how I deduced what sound corresponded to what uh, direction, actually. Well, if you went the wrong direction, it immediately went ok. Ah, uh, I guess. Okay, so, oh, so there's another laser. Let's take a look. Can we? Oh, okay. we can. Yeah, yeah, we can. The perspective was fucking me over. So. Uh... Then, what else has released this week? Uh, Soul Calibur 6, apparently? Yeah, but we haven't played it yet at the office. But it's 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 in the stars. By, by next Friday, I should be able to get my hands on it for a session or two. Okay, are you going to make a character? <laughs> Did you hear about the new meme? <laughs> what new meme? Uh, apparently, you can make a dong in it. Hasn't that, hasn't that been a bit of a sport in Soul Calibur, ga uh, Soul Calibur games for the well, last few Well, the only iterations? thing I remember doing in Soul Calibur, but Calibur when there was a create a character in it, was basically un undressing Mitsurugi and Voldo and uh, making them do <clears throat> things with each other. <sighs> <laughs> okay. I, I was mature once as well. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, I, I figured that making... Uh, Dong shaped characters uh, would be like. Door. Yes. Big ass door. With a button. Does that wire lead anywhere? Garbled. Oh. Oh. It's a doorbell. <gasps> oh, hi. I love that you can see the green screen outline. <laughs> yes. Well, they did definitely put effort into the game, you can tell. I probably just... Are you uh, that one guy she mentioned? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Are you gonna tell us how shit works? Yes, please. Carfin. Okay, that's a new crossword. What are power lines? Uh, yeah, we'll have to figure that out. I, oh, uh, oh, maybe the wire's here. Yeah, but Could I... Could you look up a sec? Well, that just looks like regular rope, actually. Yeah. Hmm. Though the power lines might have uh, to do with either those lasers or maybe that water that I got running down. That maybe the the waterfalls connect to a generator of some sort. Uh, could you check if the waterfall is landing on anything? Oh, maybe that door will open now. Yeah, we'll take a look. Um, but yeah, so Soul Calibur, that's gonna be a lot of fun for you and your fighting game uh, colleagues. Yeah, they uh, played uh, Street Fighter Five for a bit this week, and I sucked apples, absolute monkey balls at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding; it was horrid. <laughs> I, like, I, I tried to play Chang Li in it, and it's completely, completely different from the Street Fighter 3 uh, controls. Uh, 
Oh, the only great. thing that's comparable is her spinning bird kick, which is like completely useless because I was already trash at executing that to begin with. Oh, you can take pictures in this what game. What did you do? Spacebar. Okay. That's going to be useful for hints. But I like writing down. Yeah, I wasn't sure if they were going to keep that system. They had it in Mist 4, which I really liked. I was the weird kid who used the Mist 4 diary uh, to actually roleplay in the game and take pictures, both of hints and of stuff that I just liked. Mm. The waterfall. Do, do, do. What system? I suppose the ecosystem. I guess. So, we don't understand it, but we're happy it works. So, what have you been doing this week, actually, in terms of gaming? In terms of gaming, we did do a bunch of uh, Monster Hunter after your teeth got pulled. Yeah, we uh, did play some Monster Hunter again. Kind of surprised that the Halloween event only lasted till the 18th. That's. Uh, oh, it's fine by me because I, uh, I'm kind of shit at keeping up with all of it anyway. Yeah. Did you look up? There's there's just a lot of Halloween okay, events so for us now. Okay, where does that lead? Uh, well, to that bridge there, uh, to that gate there, I guess. There there's a lot of Halloween events now going on that we could follow, like Overwatch, Guild Wars Two. Oh yeah, right. I, for some reason, I wanted to jump. But that's not gonna work. Guild Wars Two and ah uh, oh, okay, so I can direct the flow. It seems. Yeah. But not a lot. Okay. You're gonna have to figure out what's beyond this gate to do something yeah, useful with Yeah, but that. Uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, and yeah, it, it gets a little bit of annoying if you're playing a lot of these service uh, games. Mm -hmm. And they all suddenly decide to have a festive event. Christmas is gonna this be This is it. again why I'm absolutely like... Ugh, when people go... Uh, when, when the companies go like, We want more live service games! Please. Fuck right off, I have no space for your live service game. I already have three games that I kind of want to try and do at least some of your seasonal content with. Just so oh. I can... I haven't even touched Guild Wars 2 in, uh, in this Yeah, month. but uh, you got scared off by the AR farming again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't blame you, but I could technically farm it for you by now. Because I got ahead of you. Yeah, I know, but still Which I is just... kind of weird, because you were ahead of me for the longest time. Yeah, but you started doing it consistently with the guild, and I didn't. I didn't do it with the guild. I did it on my own, because I needed a couple of items for... ...the Quagon shield. Yeah. I think. Yeah, you were farming that, that's right. I haven't finished it yet. But the, the thing that is really putting me off now is like trying to finish a Quagon Shield means doing a shit ton more events to get enough crystals. Oh, what, what kind of crystals? Uh, the, the thingy, the, the amalgamated thingamajigs. Oh yeah, amalgamated gemstones. Yes, those are horrible. Have we found the rest of that river yet? No. no. You're but looking for it. This way might lead to it. So this is an overlook thingy. Uh, there's a pipe here. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we've been playing a lot of Monster Hunter. I started touching City Skylines again. Had a little bit of fun with that, but the game doesn't really seem to have the draw that it used to have on me, so maybe I need to install some more what mods. What do you mean? The game has been driving you nuts for months now. Yeah, but... I feel that I hit a point sooner in the city where I'm like, I'm kind of just waiting for things to happen and I'm not really expanding as much for reasons. I think that's usually the reason why you stop playing these games after a while. Yeah, I guess. And I, it, it used, it, I used to have that with the previous cities I built as well, but not as soon. Like, 
I started to hit that with my last city when I was around, uh, around, uh, I believe, eighty thousand people. Yeah, yeah, the tree, the That's tree. Because oh yeah, that tree. We can we can take a look at it though because we haven't properly looked at it. Can we even make it there right now? Uh, I guess we can. Some. Oh, it's oh yeah. Okay, so it's completely walled off. Yeah, it's kind of annoying that all the doors are closed. But I think that's on purpose so they they can guide you to what basically would count as a tutorial. Yeah, the it's kind of the inverse of what uh, uh, the witness does. Uh, the witness immediately gives you the tutorial, mm -hmm. and this one first m makes you explore a bunch. Yeah, uh, I d I don't know if uh, if that's such a good idea though. Well, we'll see. But yeah. It's obvious that in one hour you haven't found much of interest yet. Mm. But yeah, I used to kind of feel city burnout when I was at around 80,000 people. But now I'm I'm like at around the 30,000 people and it's already like, hmm, what to do, what to do. I guess. So, yeah. I might just have to install a few more mods. Can you do something with that water pipe we saw earlier? Oh, uh, that's on the other side here. Mm. And just trying to see if we can find something abandoned. I have a feeling we'll need to be able to travel travel over these tracks. Yeah, probably we will. It will. I guess it will be sort of a fast travel system eventually. Maybe. Because with this, this also feels like it might be a hint at something. It could be. So. Where are those pictures hiding anyway? Well, uh, there's probably some. Sort of place, uh, like like another diary or something like that. Yeah, putting a, the FOV on 100 was a good call. fix for you. Yeah, yeah I, I'm not noticing it as much anymore, even good. though I'm watching somebody else play. Good. What is that thing trying to point us at? And the pipe is behind us, by the way. Oh yeah, here it is. Well, it seems just broken off. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. It was a lot clearer what you could interact with in Mist. Yeah, yeah, because that's I why I don't like Real Mist as much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Real Mist was originally. Can you go under... Have we been in there? In that mine shed? I don't think so, actually. Or maybe we did, and it's just very short. That's possible. Um, but yeah, Real Mist was kind of the original goal from the get-go, according to. Uh, the Miller brothers. Yeah, and we've it was here. just it was just not feasible. Uh, I remember this. Yeah. Okay. The bucket. Yeah, okay, but the bucket <laughs> is very I don't know. The the short uh, shaft with a bucket. That mm -hmm. that's what I remember. Okay. So I to remember where you are in this so far. Yeah. So what else have we been doing? Because we actually have done not all that much gaming this week, but a lot of other stuff. Uh well we can probably fill the rest of our session with this. We went to watch the wonderful, delightful, beautiful, alluring Ditevontees. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so we went to see a live performance of The Art of the Tees, which was a ton of fun. I totally recommend it to... Can you actually reach where the blue uh, laser is? Or can uh, you actually first go underneath? Because oh, yeah, we haven't been there. Oh yeah, can yet. maybe go underneath. But I know that the door is locked there. Hmm. But it seems the red thing on the pole that for anything. Ooh. It's just a light. Yeah. Okay. So we've been to the heart of the teas. Which was a ton of fun. I totally recommend it. At least if you're uh, 18 plus. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's not. It's not. Uh, flat strip tees, like not at all. Like, if you're thinking that. No, well, I suppose at this point, few people will need introduction to detail on tees, but. You know, you'd be surprised how many people go who when I say that. Nah, uh, maybe. My mom even went who? <laughs> yeah, but your mom doesn't come out much. <laughs> I don't know. I thought you would at least be uh, forward thinking enough. Let's maybe go up again just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah. Oh, oh! I can't go up and again. Huh? Odd. Why? Oh, the waterfall was powering that. Ah. Ah. Okay. So one thing leads to another. 
And how did you shut down the waterfall again? By opening it over there so the water didn't overflow there anymore. Oh. Okay. okay, so there must be a way around again. And I suppose it has to do with opening that door there first. Mm -hmm. So we can reach the, mm -hmm. the staircase over there. Mm -hmm. But how we would do that, I don't know. Well, experiment a little while I gush over the, the most beautiful woman on the planet. <laughs> well, no, that's uh, maybe giving her too much credit. But she definitely under understands, indeed, as the show is titled, The Art of the Tease. <laughs> yes. And, that, and, and that's the wonderful thing about the show. It's, it's not just about traditionally beautiful women. Yeah, you're talking about the Dirty Martini Act, right? Uh, she, uh, it was so endearing and she, uh, she exudes so much confidence, man. Yeah, but so... But that was the state we originally found it in. Yeah, so I'm now gonna try to pull it down and see if maybe it opens a door or something. Yeah. Who knows, with a bit of luck. With a bit of luck. Kind of counting on... No. And... It was really a celebration of all sorts of sexu uh, sensuality, not really sexuality. Yeah. I was very appreciative of uh, the gay Zorro. Chet <laughs> Andore. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am gay a woman Zorro, and, I like some, uh, and I like me some uh, man meat as well. <laughs> well, gay Zorro, I mean, Zorro has always been kind of flamboyant. <laughs> yeah, but, but uh, it, um, the fact that there was also a guy included. And, uh, uh, I guess, fat is not really all that nice either to say. Oh, is it doing anything? No. Did you ever find the other side of that river? Oh wait, it is doing something it seems. What? Look at the... Look at the... the there's a twitch in the railing here. No, that's just the rendering. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Uh, I guess, maybe. <laughs> it's just rendering. It's weird that it does that, though. It's because because the, it's it does look like it needs to move. There's scrape marks here. Yeah. Oh, maybe rotate it again. And then try it. Either way, uh, calling Dirty Martini purely fat is, is not entirely doing her justice, but she's uh, ah, there we the go. bigger lady of the whole bunch. Of yeah, course. she definitely was. There we go, we got the door open. Congratulations. One hour of experimenting and we got a door open. This is pretty much what I remember of the Mist games. <laughs> and uh, the great thing about Dirty Martini was uh, the entire audience was into her. Like, it was really like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that she dares to perform with the, the particular body type she has, which is traditionally kind of shunned, yeah, pretty Rubensians, actually. Yeah. Like, nowadays it's kind of uh, shunned, but it's uh, Rubens' uh, uh, time appreciated way more than our time does. It, it gives a sort of automatic confidence to her. I suppose. Well, she might just not give also, a hoot about it. Oh, she might not give a hoot, indeed. Uh, can you go up that? Yeah, that I, like I will step. try that next. I will try that next. And her particular skill was uh, tassel, uh, tassel nipple flinging. tassels uh, spinning. Yes, which was wonderful <laughs> to see. Yeah, uh, we can go a bit more into what uh, all, all the parts were. Well, uh, can't, we can't spoil it for everybody else now, can we? Well, it did start with Dita, her traditional. Wine glass performance. Crystal glass, <laughs> not wine. A crystal glass. <laughs> uh, there's a difference. Okay, that probably needs to come down somehow. Yeah, there's a wire. Where does it lead? Uh, all the way up there. <laughs> um, but yeah. And then we also, today, actually, visited the uh, Tim Burton exposition. You don't want to mo talk more about pretty ladies? It's fine. Again, we can't spoil everything for everyone else. Oh, but it was so nice. Yes, it was really nice. But I want to go back. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. She wants to go back again already. <laughs> but yeah, if, if... I actually have one more comment to make on it. Yeah? Uh, 
The hilarious thing to me that evening was that there was a Swan Lake uh, part in it. And the last time I've been in that theater specifically was for an actual genuine Swan Lake performance. Mm, yeah. So that was a that was a bit of a oh how uh, serendipitous almost. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, listen to you using the fancy words. Ah, <laughs> uh, it seemed appropriate for this occasion. I guess. Well, this feels like it did open up a bunch of stuff. Yeah, it did. It certainly feels like it. Did. This is, huh? Okay. That's weird. Weird. Cool. So um, now to the next subject that you wanted to uh, pull in. Yeah, so today we actually visited the uh, Tim Burton art exposition that's currently running here in Belgium. That definitely worth a go. Uh, try to go actually during a weekday when there's not that many people going, but even the weekend seemed to be doable at least. Uh, it's it's neat well, that they... Well, it's been running in different countries last year and the year before that. Yeah. It's it's neat that they show a lot of, like, of his just concept sketches that never really made it to production or got cancelled or anything like that. It didn't focus on all the stuff that we as an audience know all that much. Although there were certainly a couple of, you know, like figurines of his characters from Corpse Bride and a lot of mm -hmm. sketches, of course, from, uh, from his uh, published movies. The, the weird thing, oh, though, whoa. in my opinion... Ooh. We yeah. finally opened up the game into something interesting. <laughs> Seems so. An hour of exploring just to get to the interesting bits. Yeah. But you were saying... Um, what I found a weird present on the presence on the exposition were the Oompa Loompas. Yeah, well, he did make uh, Charlie did and the he? Chocolate Yeah, he made factory. a movie, but Oompa Loompas didn't seem to have been from him because they were titled as being made by another company. Oh, well, he probably still came up with the concepts. Well, the, the, the particular version used in that movie. I guess. It was uh, just a bit weird to me. I mean, I think that the original description of the Oompa Loompas was mostly that they were very short and kind of dark-skinned with weird hair. What is it with dark-skinned servants in our planet? Well, let's not go into that. Really? Well, you don't want to go in, into that with Sinterklaas, so let's not go into that with this either, huh? You said no on the Sinterklaas one. Well... I, I, I try to at least give credence to the people who saw problems with it. Yeah, okay, fair. But it's... I don't know if going E on all of the depictions is, is a solution either. Yeah. But I feel that, you know, I kind of don't just don't really want to concern myself with it. I know that sounds very egotistical, but it's, it's like... Eh. Is it making any sound at all? No, it's not. Because I can't hear it. No, no sounds, nothing. Then there is nothing going into it yet. Yeah, probably. Um, but yeah. I was considering maybe like doing double records of this, but considering that it makes me sick watching you play for an entire hour, uh, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. Unless we do it on multiple days. Yeah, let's not do that. We'll just do our reg regular schedule, I guess. Yeah, regular schedule I can make. Like, I'm slowly yeah. getting the, the, the sickness hack, the headache. Holy right crap, now. they have graffiti here. <laughs> Oh my god. Would this game have a graffiti system like Jet Set Radio? <laughs> that would be so Yeah! 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was sort of how it sounded, right? That was pretty much how it sounded, yes. <laughs> it was kind of, in retrospect, an annoying sounding game to record though. <laughs> well, isn't that why during the speed run of uh, SGDQ they were like uh, here's a drinking game take a shot whenever you hear a character go yeah which is like every five seconds yep you, you'd be completely wasted at the end of that uh-huh wasted and probably about to die from alcohol poisoning mm. I guess no liver was built to contain that much alcohol no <clears throat> so yeah, oh, here seems to be 
can't inter boo, I can't interact with it. You're probably gonna have to bring power to this place. Yeah. And figure out what the thing is. And there is another power line. Where does the power line lead? Because we had to do something with power. That that was for sure. Yeah. And I suppose that indeed if we just keep following power lines. These things c do kind of look like they might be generators of some sort. Or at least power collectors. There's a ton of wires running to them. And here is something as well. This one follow is colored one red. Yeah, let's first follow the one we were following. Yeah. There's actually a hum coming off of these as well. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, you're gonna have to pick up the audio cues, obviously. Yeah. Can we say anything more about the Tim Burton thing? Well, it was mostly just sketches, uh, a couple of mannequins. A couple of his uh, obscure movie things. Yeah, from, from his very early bu uh, book, which is actually pretty neat to watch. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, but <laughs> I wanted to repeat the line from Vincent, but I uh, instantly forgot at the minute I remembered it. Ah. I was it again? He was a boy that was really nice, but in reality he just wanted to be Vincent Price. Yes. Or something narrated, like that. Narrated by the actual Vincent Price, which is uh, oh, a, oh, a oh, funny... Oh, can you... The, the crank... Hey, calm down. <laughs> oh yeah, I can interact with it. Oh, is this going to be like the one puzzle in Mist 1 where you continuously had to crank that dumbass battery? Maybe. But it doesn't seem to... Well... It actually keeps moving. Oh, is that putting fuel to that one thing we were to earlier? Maybe, but I'm not hearing much beyond the crank, so... I thought I heard, like, coming from your ears. Uh, I didn't catch that, so may maybe it came only from the uh, channel that I'm currently not having on my ear, but... Uh, that would suck. Uh, you know, could happen. With uh, 3D sound. Slow down. With the rotations. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I can take a look at where that uh, cable leads. I just to figure out where the cable leads and then uh, round off for this session. And yeah. uh, we'll see you next week with the game we'll be playing parallel with this. And mm, I'm not going to go too specific about it yet. But we do know what. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Okay, so pipes. it actually runs into the pipes here. Oh, will it now actually make sounds to start? Oh, that could be neat. Uh, let's see. Would be great if we actually started it right as we ended. Yeah. Pro no. No. What about nothing. the other side of but the thing? But it seems to also have an exposed meter thing What's here. The, what about the other side of the thing? Something's not on. Wait, oh. Okay. Yeah, the fuel drain was open. Let's go. Uh, and he's still empty. No, 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 no. Let's go and turn that one crank. Yeah. And see if, uh, if it goes to full. that does anything. It's a bit annoying that it's this far apart, but... Yeah. <laughs> typical. Yeah. I do but feel like Mist it, oh. 1 itself was a bit more compact. It definitely was, and it also had, like, a shortcut mode. Which, uh... Came in pretty handy when you were really fiddling around with uh, one puzzle that stretched over the island. Shortcut mode? Yeah, like you, it stored like the last 10 uh, places that you went to and you could like quick select them from uh, a separate menu. In mist? Yes! Oh, it winds itself back. Yeah, now go look if it fueled it. Again, I didn't hear anything beyond the uh, uh, thing turning, so I doubt it will have done anything. Also, we have to figure out how to start the fuel there. <laughs> but let's give it a look-see. Yeah. It would make sense, but uh, too bad if we were wrong. It's well, full! <laughs> it's full, indeed. And ah, there we go. You need to prime it, I guess. Ah, I can. You need to keep hold of it. Okay. <gasps> and 
and the light goes on. Did it do anything? What? Maybe you need to keep holding it like the old things. Ah, it's making more noises. I think. You did it! There we go! Okay, I have a feeling you might need to do this more often though. Maybe. But anyway, that seems to be a power generator of some sort. We have created power in our first hour of play of adoption. Uh, please tune in the next time to the exciting continuation. I I'm sorry if it sounds sarcastic, but I actually think we're going to enjoy this. Yeah, this is going to be neat. See you next week. For more rambling. <laughs>